on the very day in which his engagement to the wealthy daughter, or rather to the daughter of a wealthy nobleman, is being publicly announced. Johnny is not without misgivings. His passion for Palka still burns. But let's be realistic. There's no turning back. He's made up his mind. And the two lovers, former lovers actually, do meet in the garden of the castle, the ancestral castle that, through marriage, Johnny in all likelihood will inherit. Hugely embarrassed by the ill-timed arrival of Halka on the scene. He charms her into believing that this supposed engagement to the other woman is a scurrilous rumor. Held in his arms, soothed by his renewed promises, she is far from suspecting that he is leading her along in order to get her out of the way, thus avoiding an awkward showdown. He suggests that they meet later on, after dark, near the river, where the two of them will leave together for their mountain home and get married. Now, this all happens in a very lively, dynamic duet, as you can imagine. <laughs> a duet that we had hoped to include on this afternoon's program, but our baritone had to cancel at the last minute because of a death in the family on the East Coast. So, when we next meet Halka, she is indeed near the river, by the statue of the Virgin Mary, anxious, but the anxiety gradually turns into a glow of anticipation as she waits for Johnny to arrive in a minute. <coughs> Okay. 